watching that? Do you get all those emotions back yeah, again? Yeah, my heart's going. I still get so, so emotional when I watch yeah. it. It was just the best feeling in the world. Can you believe that's a year? Hasn't it whizzed oh by? Oh, my gosh. It's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely gone crazy. So, so fast. The quickest year of my life. Now, look, we... I mean, I, you, you ha I have to confess that I haven't seen a frame, <laughs> but Dan, I've lived through it vicariously with Dan. I'm going to try and get Lorraine to watch tonight, Okay, Ava. What do you think? Late. Absolutely. No, you it's have to late. start tonight. I'm worried I might get hooked and then I'll have no life. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> it's a national conversation these yeah. days, Lorraine. It is. But what we see is obviously edited highlights. All yeah. I mean, what's it actually like in there? What is it like? Are there moments where you're, you're bored, you're fed up, or it's too much, or what's going on? Do you know what? It is, it's mentally exhausting. You know, you think you're on this eight-week holiday and you're enjoying life, but it's so intense and it's such an alien situation. All you have is this one person for eight weeks, no social media, no entertainment, and it's like that's you're just infatuated with the way you feel and you have to think about it so much, it's crazy. What was the best part for you? What has been the best thing about it? I've really had to grow up so much and I feel like I've come out a completely different human being. You know, getting thrown Better? into the... Oh, 100%. The way I've been thrown into the limelight, you really just have to grow up so quickly. Mm. And it was the best summer of my life and I'll never, ever forget it. Got to be loads as well. And you've got to be careful what you put on social media as Roseanne Barr has found yeah. out. You've got to be really careful what yeah. you put out there because it can come back and bite you on the bum. Of course, yeah. So that's been, has that been something you've been very aware of? Yeah, you have to. Do you know what? You ha like I said, you have to grow up because anything can happen and it just takes that one little thing and it can absolutely blow up and it's yeah, just... Yeah, well, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, one of the papers over the weekend had a big spread on the Love Island tycoons because oh. all of these guys, Lorraine, now make their livings through the power of social, social media. media. So how many followers right. do you have now on Instagram, 1. Amber? 1.6 million. 1.6 million. Wow. So Freaky. there's actually... That's why there's been this massive demand. You've seen tens of thousands of people apply to go in the show this year it's because... It's a career move. It's not a show. It's a career move. Yeah, yeah. Because, because if you come out of it... I mean, right. I know people say they're going on looking for love, and I'm sure some are, but at the end of the day, if you come out of it in this day of social media obsession, right. you are... A business. Yeah, we had no idea how much it no, was going to blow this is up. A new thing. Right. So we were all very going in there for the right reasons. So I hope they've right. kept that this year right. as well. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. But you, but when you came out, there was so there's so much attention mm. around you. It's it's yeah. quite, it's quite overwhelming. It I, is I overwhelming. But you need to have a really good support system around you, and that's what I've been saying for everyone that's gone in this year. You need to have really thick mm. skin because otherwise it can really damage mm. you. But you know what I'm sad about, Lorraine, because I actually, you remember last year, Kim and Amber, they landed at the airport. I picked them up for the airport for the first big interview. You did. Yeah. All of the families were there. Mm -hmm. And you guys were convinced at that point, Amber, this was it. You yeah. know, he was the one. It was going to be marriage, yeah. kids, the whole deal. And then do you think it was almost the pressure of the fame that mm. led your relationship? Because obviously for you sure. have split up now. Yeah, for sure. I think you have to make that decision of you either commit to the relationship and you work on the relationship, yeah. or you get swarm into this life and you concentrate on your career. And mm. I think doing both of them is really, really hard. Mm. So you say career. The trouble is now, there's a whole new bunch of people coming in. Yeah. So is that it then for you? It's, it's, it's over or are you going to be doing more? Or how does it, I'm genuinely interested in how I that think works. I think once you earn the respect of being in this industry, people want to work with you, you know, yeah. and especially if you've got talent and, like I said, if you're pleasant and nice to work with and you work hard, then your career should mm. be fine. Yeah. And it's interesting for Kim and Amber Lorraine because Kim's now hosting an official Love Island podcast. Amber's going to be be commenting all this year on sure. what goes on. Yeah. And actually, I know you've you've read the interview, Amber, but Kim this morning has done my podcast, the Dan Wilson interview, talking all about the breakdown of your relationship. So I obviously love you both. Yeah. So it's a bit awkward for me. <laughs> no, it's but why not don't awkward. we hear what Kim had to say and then you can react okay. off the bat. Sure. She was my first love. She played a massive part in Love Island for me. And um, like, she's always gonna have a soft spot for me in my heart because she was like my first ever girlfriend. We had some amazing times together. It, it, it was me who, who called it a day. I think Amber probably was feeling the same thing, but I couldn't carry on going on the way we was. And we was arguing over silly things and it just didn't, it just didn't feel right. And, and the spark kind of was going. And 
So how hard is that to hear? Do you know what? I think I'm really... I struggled a little bit when we first broke up. Mm -hmm. And Kem and Kem knows that. But he's, he was so brilliant with me. Like, sometimes, you know, I'd message him and he'd talk me through it. And he has been brilliant mm -hmm. with me. But Kem and I were in two different stages in our lives. He obviously still lived with his parents. And, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd and you were his first girlfriend. Yeah, I was yeah. his first girlfriend, where I'd been in numerous relationships. And I moved to London at 16 and I was independent. So it wasn't our fault that... We, we didn't work. And maybe it was just, you know, for me, I always say it was the right person, but just at the completely wrong time. Mm. That's an interesting one. Well, you never know. I mean, you're, you're obviously always going to have that bond, aren't of you? Of course, You'll yeah. You'll always have that shared so experience, then. which nobody else will understand completely, yeah. other than you two. Yeah. So you always have that, and you never know. You never know. <laughs> 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 <don't>. No comment. <laughs> Amber, thank you. Thank you really so much. Really good to see you.